Hello everyone, and welcome back to Game Break, an Inspire the Muse presentation where we explore the plot behind some great video games. Will here, returning with Bioshock Infinite, Burial at Sea. And when we last left off, Elizabeth had just entered a bathysphere servicing wing in the hopes of finding a CO2 scrubber from one of the bathyspheres. But first, we must sneak past and or disable all of these very dangerous splicers. Okay, so there's two there. Oh, there's more. Oh, this place is huge and there are a lot of splicers. Well, he's gotta be handsome and smart and self-assured like Andrew Ryan. <laughs> And good with his hands like Dr. Steinman. Of course. I'm gonna have to get used to hearing that dialogue over and over and over again. Could also use some Eve. Yeah. Folks always stare when I make the scene. You get used to it. He does not sit still for long. The water surrounding Fontaine's department store. I wish I could I think I said this before but I really wish I could drag and pull the bodies mother always says it's important to be yourself so here I am because then I wouldn't have to worry about them being spotted while they're unconscious why you do it was oh, she can see me. Good enough. Body. Who did this? See? Now I gotta listen for footsteps. Don't hide your light under the bushel. Did she give up? Oh, she gave up. Okay, cool. I guess the I'm too exhausted for a game of cat and mouse was her way of saying, yeah, I'm not going to bother. I think she actually hangs out over here. I thought Rapture was open for business. Yep. Did you give him my message? Okay, so they're out. Uh, got a locked door here. And that's probably where I have to go to get down. Somebody there. Harassment. That's what this is. Incessant, unfounded prying into my respectable entrepreneurial affair. It's a good time to take him out. I just want to make sure no one's coming up. You can't judge a man only by his bookings. Character's gotta come into account. Oh, now's the time. <laughs> Whoo! Nighty night! I'm actually making good progress with knocking these people out. Oh, you're gonna be tricky. You go through the water. But I think that's the last person in this room. Everyone else is like in a... Behind a door or something. I did not even see him there. If it wasn't for that music, like I said before, how there's a tone that plays when you get close to a splicer, and when it starts to notice you, if that tone wasn't there, I never would have noticed that guy was there. And he absolutely would have taken me out. And I figure I don't want to go in the water. Your 
tuned to Radio Rapture. Music for the discerning here. Okay. And now, want to hear my latest got number? Something very it's coming up next. Coming up next. Gonna knock your socks off, I tell you. This little lady, <laughs> who goes by the name of Miss Elizabeth, was picked out of the thousands by the maestro himself, Sander Cohen. And when Sander finds a songbird, you know for sure she's gonna sing sweet. So here's Miss Elizabeth. This is it. You belong to me. Hey, that's not it. Nepotism. Payola. That's what this is. Who do they know? Whose pillow they fluffing? Woo. Sounds to me like Sandra Cohen wrote a little song for Elizabeth. With Elizabeth? I'm not sure. Oh, I needed that. Thank you very much. I could use more of it, but thank you. Oh yeah, so that's Elizabeth singing on the radio. Sandra Cohen apparently got her to sing a little song for him. I'm admittedly not really paying attention to it. I'm sure it sounds lovely, but at the same time... I've got more important stuff to keep track of. Ooh, what's this? Oh, now that I like. It's free to look through walls if I'm standing still. Oh, that I like. I'm going to abuse the crap out of this plasma now. So now we're in the tunnels below. I am admittedly once again having some flashbacks to Dishonored. Like when you have to go through the sewers and whatnot. And those were bad because the diseased rats were down there. If anyone's been paying attention to the song Elizabeth's been singing on the radio, Tell me if it was a good one, because I wasn't paying attention. I was making sure that I didn't die and miss any secrets. Okay, so that was just a sneaky way to get around over here. That you, honey? C come back! We can work this out! That guy super heard me splashing in the water. I'm not surprised. When can I see you again? Oh, you ain't gonna see me again. Elizabeth here is only gonna sneak up behind people. That's it. We're through. All right, and I think that means he gave up on me. Why'd you do it? Wasn't I? Okay, so I could sneak up on this side. Three lock picks for that. Is that where I have to go? It is. They're making me use three lock picks. No more of the hairpin locks that we had previously. And I don't have a code for that. Hopefully I'll find it shortly. And I'd like look around and like try to jump and platform, but uh now well, there's splicers about. Alright, what do we got? Ah, bugger. So yeah, oops. Come back. Well, 
I, uh, didn't expect it to turn around like that. I was going for the blue one to get the noisemaker. I also see a light flashing through the wall, the door. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I can't. Oh, and because I set the alarm off. Right. At least I can listen to this. The buildings are being fabricated above the waves. But we will lower them on a lunette ring submerged into the structure's steel frames. So much steel, you wonder. How will we keep so large a purchase from the government? Water is buoyant. We shall not frame Rapture in steel, but in aluminium. The government jackals may suspect me of building an air force, but never a city. So he built the city out of aluminum. Good. I think as long as I'm not in the light, I should be fine. Well, I can pick this one, but I will be sh surely out of lockpicks. What's this light? Oh, it's over there. Okay. That guy up there. Oh, there's a vent over there. I can sneak past these. It's all just part of the challenge. Another one over there. It's fine. That one's up a staircase. It won't see me. And we're good. You got a friend over? Nope. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Maybe I should have shut off that one that looks in this room. Come back! I just want to talk is all. Nope, 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 nope. What's that cookie face? Whew. Found another note. Whereabouts of the foreign bitch scientist unknown. Ryan presumes she's dead, but our guess is she's gone underground with the little sisters. Options on obtaining the ace are dwindling. Ah, they're talking about Tannenbaum. When can I see you again? And Tannenbaum was working with Su Chong, so they probably wanted to use Tannenbaum to try and get at Su Chong. Come on, don't. Oh. Uh, you got a friend though? Come back! I just wanna talk is all. No, no, no talking. Come on! What are you running away for? That's it. <laughs> We're through. Ooh. And upsy daisy. <sighs> 
I am not. That other turret was aimed up so that it could see through the vent. Oh, there's the dude. Okay, so that's the guy that's been talking shit. Come back! I just want to talk is all. And apparently there's money in here. Threat eliminated. Oh, this, like, lasts permanently if I sit still, too. Oh, yeah, I need to take him out. There's water all down these stairs. Want to save my lockpicks? I don't want to pick these. To save them for doors and stuff. Five picks, can't lock. So I'm still looking for a way to lower that bathosphere so I can get the CO2 scrubber. That was the whole point of coming in here. And I admit, I'm a little turned around as to where I was. Okay, no. Now I know exactly where I was. Because that's the locked door with the key code. Oh, they're going to give me the radar range at some point. I just want lockpicks. That's like everything I want is lockpicks and trank darts. It's all I care about. Oh. I'm gonna try and play this game so stealthily. Probably a switch around here somewhere. Alright, so it looks like I got all the guys, at least for now. I'm sure there's a chance that more could pop in at any point in time. Oh, which I think is another different thing about this Bioshock and the others. Because they have to deal with the stealth mechanics. There's the radar range. I, uh... There might not be respawning enemies like there were in previous Bioshocks. Alright. So now I have the radar range. Let's see if this works. This is gonna be noisy. Oh, yeah, and they're going to know that I'm up here. Uh, I see what you've done here. It's over. You ain't going to do it again. Load it. I just want to you know you don't off. belong here. All right, go over there. Oh, they didn't go far enough away. Come on! What are you running away for? They're not looking over here. That's right. Go, go over there. No, 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 no. Go, go over there. Away from me. When I find you. No, no, no. You're not gonna find me. You're gonna go away. Oh, that was close. He totally saw me. Come back. We can work this out. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll work this out later. You walk away now. 
Come on. Don't see. Oh, come on. Go away. When can I see you again? You can't. This don't seem Jake to me. <laughs> uh. Well, at least they're out. Got one trank dart back. Alright, so I got two of my three trank dart backs. Trank, trank darts back. It's too bad I didn't get the code for that door. Because if I had the code for that door, I would just open it. But I don't know what the code is. I'm sure I missed it somewhere. Oh, you know what? I bet it's in here. How much you want to bet it's in there? Uh, it's not worth it to me to have that code that badly. Mostly because I want lock picks for locked doors more than I want them for locked saves. Or safes. Or whatever. So, if I gotta be a little sneaky with the, the things, these turrets. Then so be it. I will sneak past the turrets. Almost forgot about this one again. I do like the ominous music. Alright, problem solved. We're good. We're golden. Everything's fine. I just have to get up here. Of course, there's more splicers. Can I work on this thing? Oh, I see. I have to use these. What's this? Whoa. No. Another one. It must have been about her time when she first arrived. Oh, I see you. I made my quota. Well, I mean, all, all, all right. I, mean, I was only off this much. Can't you kind of fell up right for once? With his back personality. And people just like me. Right off the shelf. You can't buy that for love of money. Guy's got like a shot up teddy bear on his back. I closed that son of a bitch. I closed it. Closed it. I don't want to check, but I'm telling you, he's closed. He's closed. Just in case you were wondering. Guys apparently also got a long. What's that? Thought I saw something glowing up there. You spit rabbit. You spit Frankie. Oh, it's just this guy. One guy making a long route around the building. You think I don't want out of family If I can, when he comes down the stairs, I'm gonna bop him one. <sighs> down you go, teddy bear man.
Anything else worth finding? There's an audio diary in here. And a lockpick! Ryan's minefield is well laid out, I'll grant him that. Nah, but what security system made that ain't got a hole or two in it? If I was taking book down at Fort Frolic, I wouldn't like my odds. If I jig left when I should go right, there ain't gonna be enough bits of me left to set a crab's table. Woof. So yeah, he's talking about the minefield that's literally right outside that window. Not only did uh, Andrew Ryan bury this place deep beneath the ocean, but he then set up a magnetic minefield to make sure that people wouldn't get out. So even if they tried to escape, it wouldn't succeed. All right, and here's the scarabber. Got it. Just need to find old man Winter, and we're done. That should be easy enough. Said no one ever. Oh, is his head twitching weird? Child star. Child star. I'm just a star. Period. Is he in the ship? I think he's in this um doodad. Yeah, why is his head all weird? Man, I've been on a sabbatical for going on 15 years now. I get some work, but I want to get back to real acting. I can't really take him out. Recently, I've been on something of a hiatus. I told Sander Cohen I'm always ready to cut a record. I put on a show. And I think this guy's probably in this other one. Where'd you go last night? Out? Out? <laughs> you think I'm some kind of idiot? I just want to sneak past these guys. They're not paying attention to me. I'm just gonna get the hell out of Dodge. Mostly because I can't sneak up on them and take them out without shooting them. And I didn't want to shoot them because I don't want to waste the ducks. Progress, love. I must confess, I'm becoming a wee bit skeptical. Remind me, why am I supposed to care? You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam. And there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. If you kill her, I truly hope you are happy living down here. Put down roots, raise a family. Or maybe you think Andrew Ryan is going to ride to your rescue. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters, and some very slow ones. Oh, Atlas. Showing your colors here. Whoa. Oh. Excuse you? Um... What was that? What was the green gooby gas? Crossbow gas ammo? Well, what does this do? Is it knockout gas or death gas? Well, I suppose we'll have to find out next time on Game Break. For now, I want to thank you all for joining me here today. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends so that they too can find some inspiration. And make sure to subscribe to our channel here at Inspire the Muse for more great videos from us. And until next time, get out there, find some inspiration, and be creative.